Welcome back to Break Tech. This is Doug. We're going to continue our work on our tic-tac-toe game this evening. And before we do anything else, we want to go into uh, what we're going to do, how we're going to create the AI. So we're going to create the AI using what's called the Minimax or MM algorithm. And the Minimax algorithm is an algorithm for evaluating the possible outcomes of a zero-sum game. So what is a zero-sum game? A zero-sum game is one in which there is a total payoff or utility for the players, and that utility can be divided among the players, but in order for one player to gain more, another player must lose by that same amount. In other words, the payout always remains balanced among the players. Some examples of zero-sum games are poker, in which like you buy chips, and the amount of chips, let's say you can't rebuy, but the amount of chips at the table always remain the same and at the end of every and there's no rake and at the end of every round um, the chips are just distributed among the players uh, and each player having a, an amount of utility equal to the number of chips they've accumulated um, chess and checkers uh, there's a winner there's a loser uh, there's no um, ties so in chess and checkers uh, one player receives all the utility the other player receives none and in tic-tac-toe, we have three possible outcomes. Uh, we have one player wins, uh, X wins, O wins, or neither player wins. So all, all the utility goes to X, all the utility goes to O, or there is no utility distributed at all. Uh, in which case, um, you know, there's, there's zero utility to either player. Um, but as we'll see, that might mean that they have actually minimized their losses that's sort of what the, uh, the AI using the Minimax algorithm will attempt to do. So how does it work? The way the algorithm works is that all possible moves are evaluated and each player has the goal of minimizing the utility of their opponent. So one player plays the role of the maximizing player, the other plays the role of the minimizing player. That's where the name Minimax comes from. So to evaluate each move, a tree is created which assesses the value of each possible move. So inter intermittent moves, moves where there's no winner or loser or tie, uh, have zero value. Um, terminal nodes are assigned a point value. Uh, this is what the tree would look like. This is from an empty board state. X is the first player, so they evaluate the board first. And every possible outcome of the game is evaluated. And when it evaluates all those possible outcomes, every terminal node or a node where the game ends is assigned a point value. If the maximizing player wins, it is assigned a value of 10. And this is an arbitrary value, just has to be the highest value. Uh, the minimizing player, if they win, will receive a negative 10 score. And if neither player wins, then there's zero points awarded. So each player alternately goes through the tree and evaluates which moves result in either a win or a draw. Uh, and if they result in a win, then the player would obviously select that move. Um, but as you'll see in the coming video, um, that will never be the case with tic-tac-toe if a player is playing optimally. Now, with a human player who can make mistakes, uh, you, you'll see that, um, that it is possible for the AI to win. And the reason for that is that um, there, will, there will occasionally be, uh, when playing a human player, a node where the very next move will result in a win for the AI. And it will always take a move where the next move is a win. Um, but any other solution to the game is a tie uh, if both players are playing optimally. They simply block each other and, and nobody can ever win. <clears throat> and it turns out that that's the only way to minimize the, uh, um, the opponent from um, from, optim from optimizing their strategy, which is to you know either minimize or maximize as the case may be. So this is the pseudocode uh, courtesy of Wikipedia. So the function, um, oh, and one thing I didn't discuss is depth because I'm not using it. Uh, so depth in a more complicated version of the Minimax algorithm, um, like say if you were playing checkers or chess where there's like millions of possible board states that you would have to evaluate if you did the entire game, um, the depth is the number of moves ahead to look. So. Um, if there is a possible win within the next, say, three moves, your AI would um, lean in that direction. Uh, but in most cases, um, there won't be a, uh, a high value or high probability of a win early in the game. And then later in the game, um, 
you know, there there will become a higher probability of a win. For for a more complicated game, not for tic tac toe. For tic tac toe, um, you know, there's there's a there's still an awful lot of potential board states that have to be evaluated, but it's far less than a more complicated complex game. And so we just go ahead in, in this example and evaluate all of the possible nodes. So if you're the maximizing player or if the board is being evaluated for the maximizing player, we set best value to a negative infinity. And for each child of the node, we evaluate if it's an end node. If it's an end node, uh, we assign it a value. If it's not an end node, we continue and evaluate the board from that node. So it is a recursive function that traverses down a tree all the way to the final board states that are possible and then assigns those a value. If those values are uh, higher than the initial value of negative infinity, they replace best value and we end up picking uh, a one of those. Now, you'll see in our tic-tac-toe game, this is gonna always select the, so when you have the AI play each other, it's not very interesting because the way that this, um, this algorithm is written here, the first node that returns a value is always the one that is used because other than that you, you know you wouldn't have a higher value you just have an equivalent value so it's it's a little bit of a um, of a dumb algorithm the way the way you could make it a little bit more interesting as a player to play the game is to create an array rather than a best value single value create an array of values that are equivalent um, and then replace the array if uh, if your new value is is better than you know one of those values and then randomly select between the values in the array uh, which would be our um, our potential moves um, at the end so that uh, you get a random um, equivalent you get a random move that is of equivalent value um, so if our player is the minimizing player then we'll set our best value to a positive infinity and look for the lowest possible score um, for each child node um, and again, depth is not something we're using, so um, we'll evaluate each node uh, and it will return either a negative 10 or a zero. We'll select the first of the lowest that is possible and, um, and that is the, the one that we'll use. So if that makes any sense to you or if you're still having questions, stay tuned. I'm gonna, have, I'm gonna put together the rest of our um, tic-tac-toe game and uh, we'll get the AI working. If you like this video, please click like, please click subscribe.